Hey buddy, it's John with Tech Tips, and today we're going to be working on part two of our top-down space shooter. Also, get ready for a adventure-like platformer with simple Game Boy Advance-like color scheme, um, about four to eight levels, and a very simple game to put together, simple enemies, and simple collective, and um, switch, switching out weapon type setup for those who want to create games very quickly, and um, well, learn a whole bunch of stuff while doing it. So in this one, it's our enemy intermediate top-down shooter, <coughs> and today we have a Android or you could say iOS type setup. It's this is going to be for a smartphone or a tablet. When we run the layout, now let's make it big. We can run side to side. We can also shoot. Our enemy ship comes into uh, view and he has a health bar. It's not working yet. We're going to be doing that in the next tutorial. We're going to be working on our own health bar, so our shield bar, our actual in uh, hull integrity, the level that we are at, so per how many enemies uh, we kill. So, so say we kill, like this is going to be like a space station type enemy and he's going to be worth say a thousand points so per you know every five thousand points we level up so every so the first level to get to level two we need five thousand points to get to the next one we need ten thousand points so every ten thousand points so each enemy is going to be worth several different types of points um, also we will have a pause button which will pop up a little micro mini uh, menu so that we can go uh, reset the level quit the game um, and I'm thinking about just putting our score, so it will say the current level that you are at, level 2, and what score you are at. So say you, um, you're at 1500, well, you're actually halfway to level 3. So that's what's going to go on. Um, also, we're going to start implementing um, either within the second or third one, actually doing damage. So we'll both have health bars. Also, we'll, we'll probably start in the second or third episode, uh, actually doing some damage to these enemies. Okay, so I'm going to go over some... Um, of the last episode just to make sure that we all have it or if you're just jumping into this episode that you know exactly what's going on so I have imported all these sprites and by this time you should kinda know how to import sprites I have two layers and I'm going to uh, hide layer one so as you can see I have all this uh, all that you see right now is in layer zero and this is in layer one Okay, so I need to move this ship actually to. This is how to move to layer to different layers. This is actually done on purpose, so we could do this. Move to layer zero, and I'm going to move that to uh, layer zero. So when we hit run layout again, it, it still all works. Um, because we're never moving out of this scene. No, we're not moving to. No, we're not moving beyond this setup. All right. So for the event sheet, global number of health. So this is going to be for uh, probably I need to put like enemy health on that one. So it's going to be enemy health equals a hundred. Um, on start of layout, sprite pinned to our player ship. On start of layout, wait two seconds. Um, accelerate movement. So this is for our ship. So what we're going to do is after we've import this guy, and we need to set behavior. So he's going to have a custom movement behavior and a solid object behavior. So whenever we shoot at him, the, the, uh, the game registers him as a solid object. So on start of layout, wait two seconds, then uh, what's going to happen is that this guy is going to accelerate toward an object. What I have is I have this little gray box, which will be basically invis uh, invisible, or will just um, de uh, be deleted, and then once he reaches this object, then uh, that object will be deleted. Um, set sprite custom movement over at the 20, so on both of these I have it all. Uh, I have it set to 20. Um, and this is just that pin. That's, this is just the health bar. 
So I have imported and I've pinned to him. So that health bar that we have on behaviors, I have pinned to the enemy space station. On collision with Sprite in the gray box, the Sprite, the enemy space station will stop. And that's in custom movement. Um, effects when the player's uh, particle blaster is overlapping um, the tiled background. This is some effects that we're going to add in later. So, like blurred effect, disruption, maybe some sort of glow effect. So, it actually looks like a plasma ball. And then on this one, it says touch control. So, on um, is touching sprite every 0 0.6 seconds because if we do every second, then he will be basically uh, shooting. See, I can do this right now. Um, every so I'm gonna copy that one first, and I'm gonna say every zero seconds. Um, also every tick. Okay, so every one second. So we're gonna play that, or maybe that may be too much. Yes, yeah, way too much, or way too little at this point. Zero point zero. I can't do that one either. Uh, zero point one. So literally, he'd be shooting way too much. And eventually, we're actually going to be implementing a similar weapon um, to where it will be a like a very quick blaster, but it won't have as much damage. So it's um, touching the uh, shooting button, which is right this one. This is this one. We are going to be spawning Sprite 12 the laser weapon on layer 0. Um, Sprite is set as a bullet, so we, uh, this little plasma laser weapon, whatever, has a bullet effect. A speed of 400, so it's, it's all default at this point. Um, it's touching the right button, he'll move right. Uh, it's touching the left button, it's moving left. On collision, so Sprite on collision with the bullet, it will be destroyed. So at this point, we're all, we're just implementing the basics. Because at this point, you want to know what you're doing um, so you don't mess up your future code. So at this point, we're pretty much done. We haven't done anything too exotic yet. Um, we have to implement player shields which will be this blue bar. So every time an enemy shoots, depending on what he shoots, it's going to have such and such effect. So this station is going to have a better weapon system than the enemy fighters, which are going to come in pretty soon. So uh, yes, this was a pretty quick tutorial. Um, there'll be a download link down below. Hopefully you guys, you enjoyed it. In the next one, it'll be a whole lot more stuff. And I'm just gradually getting you ready for bigger and bigger video games. So um, I'll be working on some more tutorials. I'm actually implementing at this time a um, character chooser. So if you've ever played Pokemon or Digimon or whatever type of game where they wanted you to choose your character, um, I'm going to be. I'm actually building a little a video, three-part video on that. So it's going to be your character how the character walks in the top-down RPG setup, and then how to implement his name. So whatever else you do in that game, his name will be there. So hopefully, guys, you'll enjoy that series, and I will see you in the next episode.